Hi, I am Dr. Deborah Williams. I'm a naturopathic doctor and a Seventh-day Adventist medical missionary. In April 2012, I was diagnosed with breast cancer. The symptoms I had, the first symptom actually, was a lump under my arm. That was the first time. There was this lump under my arm. And then I had, it, it kind of moved from under my arm and it went into the left breast. And then it got harder and harder and harder. And that was the only symptom I had as it relates to knowing that I had breast cancer. I am a Christian and I believe the Lord can heal our bodies. And I know I had caused cancer by how I was eating and how I was living and I was handling stress. And so I decided to go back and correct what I had done to cause the cancer to come on in the first place. My loved ones, that was chaos. <laughs> Everybody went into fear mode. I mean, crying, people were just devastated. It's almost like this. I was dead before I was dead. Everybody thought I was going to die. The big C, you have cancer. And so everybody was panicking. Everybody was afraid. And, uh, you know, I really had to help them to understand that cancer is not a death sentence. You can overcome it by changing what you did in the first place to cause it. I was not afraid. You see, it's very, it, you can't have fear when you're walking with God. The Bible says the Lord has not given us a spirit of fear, but a spirit of power, love, and a soul mind. So the months after, I was told by my doctor that this is confirmed, it's stage 2B breast cancer. It has spread from the breast, it has already gone into your lymphatic system. I decided to do what I had found out in all of my research. Cancer is caused because of how we're eating, living and managing stress. And so I changed my diet, took out all of the meat, all the sugar, all the processed food and went on a whole food plant based diet. Fruits, vegetables, seeds, nuts, grains. And I also went on a program that we call New Start. Nutrition, whole food plant-based diet, exercise, water, sunlight, temperance, air, rest, and trust in God. These are the eight laws of health, and that's the pathway I took. From I was told I had breast cancer, I connected straight with my creator. And I went to understand how he made the body and how the body can be healed. That's what I did, and in nine months I was cancer clean. And I've been teaching that now for seven years across the world. That cancer can be prevented, but if it comes, it can be reversed using natural remedies. There is a explosion of cancer in Jamaica. It's not just breast cancer. In fact, one of the leading causes of death among Jamaican men, as far as cancer is concerned, is prostate cancer. So, in my office, and you know, we are here at Natural Choice Health Food Store. We do consultations for here for, and many of our clients are cancer cases. And so, we're seeing prostate cancer, breast cancer. We're seeing tumors in the brain, liver cancer, pancreatic cancer, ovarian cancer. It's all over the body and it's hitting Jamaica like a storm. And so when we speak about cancer prevention, we're talking about all types of cancer. And we're seeing them every single day. And we have seen them reversed. That's the beauty of it all, you know. We're not just saying Deborah was healed from cancer. We're saying that we have worked with many different types of cancer and we have seen them recover. Now, two weeks after my diagnostic, I started doing um, health workshops trying to teach Jamaicans that cancer can be prevented and so basically my tips for preventing cancer number one we're consuming too much meat there's just too much flesh the meat causes the blood to become very acidic if the blood becomes acidic it creates an environment for the cells to become acidic and you're creating the pathway for cancer so that's number one I would advise my women in particular to come off the hope of meat try as best as they can to go to a whole food plant-based diet Number two is exercise. It's vitally important that we're exercising because the body needs to detox and exercise is essential for detoxing the body, getting the toxins out, right? Number three is the water intake. We need to be drinking pure water, not the water filled with chlorine and filled with chemicals, but pure spring water. So hydrate the body so the cells can be hydrated. The internal environment of the body needs to be alkaline and water is our number one friend. Number four is rest. We have to learn to rest. There's just too much imbalance in our lives. We're not resting enough. We need seven to eight hours of rest every night because your brain makes something called melatonin. And melatonin is made between 9.30 and 3 o'clock. And that melatonin is what repairs the body during the hours of night when we're supposed to be sleeping. And my most important tip to our women is having a strong relationship with God. In Exodus 15 verse 26, God says, I am the Lord that healeth thee. And so that, that relationship with him, even when something comes, we can know that there is somebody, there is a God who will heal. And if we trust and obey, we can prevent these diseases by living a wholesome, healthy lifestyle.